Samsung pioneered mainstream stylus-based Android tablets with its Note line, and now Toshiba enters a game with the $600 Excite-Rite. The Rite is a 10.1-inch tablet with a 2560 by 1600 resolution screen. Ports include a micro SD card slot, micro HDMI, and micro USB. However, the micro USB port can't be used for charging. There is only one 32GB storage configuration. The 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera is as grainy as they get, but the 8 megapixel back camera actually takes sharp pics, video, handles colors pretty well, and has an LED flash. The right is essentially the Excite Pro with a Wacom digitizer. That means, according to Toshiba, that the screen can detect up to 1,024 levels of pressure from the pen. However, when using Toshiba's included TrueNote app, you'd never notice. TrueNote is a very basic note-taking and picture annotating app that lets you organize your files in virtual folders. Those files can include simple notes, doodles, and whatever else you can think of to draw or write. You can choose from a couple of different styles of pens, a pencil or marker. Color, thickness, and transparency levels can be adjusted manually but line thickness doesn't respond to different levels of pressure no matter how hard or lightly you press. That's not the case, however, if using Photoshop Touch, which clearly responds to different pressure levels. If outside the TrueNote app, you can take a screenshot and then crop and annotate the screen to your heart's content. That's pretty much it, though. TrueNote is surprisingly bare bones with none of the bells and whistles of Samsung's S-Note app. The pen is accurate, and writing with it felt more fluid and faster than on the Galaxy Note 10.1, but about matched the Note 8 in smoothness. One feature Samsung Stylus is missing, however, is this handy eraser button on the bottom. It's a useful and convenient extra, even if its detection isn't one-to-one. -one. The biggest difference, however, between the Note and Write is OS integration. The Note line includes stylus functionality like cutting out a slice of the screen, any screen, at any time. Also, the Note's write-to-text conversion puts Samsung's tablets in a class all their own. The Excite-Write doesn't come near that level of integration, and the overall experience feels more limited for it. The Excite-Write is a good tablet, but for $600 comes up way short in the WOW department. Its stylus features can't match the competition, and ultimately it isn't worth the unreasonable price Toshiba is asking. For more information, check out my full review at CNET.com. I'm Eric Franklin, and this has been a first look at the Toshiba Excite Right.